So we've got that three mic set up in the team room there with okay. the uh, the test kit you guys gave us. Yeah. And it's working. They work great. I mean, Stu's been all over that room and with the way that they're spaced out. So they do a great job with that. That's really yeah, great. Yeah, they've because, got like intuitive pickup. Yeah. And, and they recognize and register where the source is coming from and then and then they, they pick back up. And what's really cool, I mean, because what you guys basically have there is the travel package, right? I mean, because there's yep. all there, you could build all kinds of different things where you could have more sound, but you're just you're using the three tabletop units in that room, which is it's pretty cool to see that it's got that kind of coverage. Yep. Yeah, it, it picks up um, it picks up really well. And we like I said, we spaced this out kind of the same configuration kind of what we had where we had people set up in this room for what we were doing with our draft meetings. And so um, we were using a single single speaker phone before. So, um, and you guys know the conference room phones, they're, they're really good except for if you got a large room like this, it's not quite as, as, as good as they, they could be. So, um, but this is definitely, um, way better than what we had. I mean, we're using, I'm using the sound out of the, the, the units right at the moment. Um, and it's more than loud enough for the number of people that would be in here and for the purpose that we would use it for. Um, if we were using it on the road, we would uh, come out of the computer into a sound system probably. Um, uh, but that's not really that much of a, a, a difference of, of what it is. Um, we've tried echo tests, we've tried all different kinds of things, and for the most part, Matt being in that other room and, 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 and Fuzz being at his computer, um, we really didn't get any feedback, we didn't get any, you know, uh, we didn't get any of the feedback that we, that we had before. I mean, we had really bad feedback uh, trying to trying to use what we were using before. Um, and it's mainly because of the space and where, this, where the speakers are and where everything else is. So kind of, a, a, kind of a, a little thing. But yeah, once we figured out um, how to get the three units and the, the, the control on the same IP, um, he, uh, it was legitimately plug and play at that point. Um, you know, we're using, um, uh, we did not open up the switch that you guys sent us, but, but um, uh, we'll put it back in the package um, uh, whenever we send all this back to you. Uh, but that, that switch should be perfectly fine for what you need. Biggest thing that you that, that found is that um, you have to use a, some sort of router that's going to give you uh, IP addresses. So if you were to get a, standard cable, mo cable modem or a Wi-Fi router that you can buy at Best Buy or, or one of those. Um, you can connect that into that, that switch that you're doing and that will provide each one of these with its own IP address. And that's kind of how they, they communicate with one another. Um, so that was um, the box that was missing, is we need to find a router and make sure it's in this kit. If somebody wants to take it, out and use it like in a meeting room or hotel space or something. Exactly, and they sell them. They actually sell them. We're, we're still doing some investigating, but we think we found one um, that um, you can use that is, a, uh, it's a POE switch with, uh, with, with a router built in. So for the five switch, for the five ports that's on it, um, it will assign uh, uh, IP addresses to those five, five ports. And so it's a little tiny box and setting set them up. But yeah, I mean, it's, it's, um, it's a thousand times better than what we had. And of course, this is uh, this, this meeting room would be roughly about the size of what we would, we would see um, on a standard road trip. Um, what we were doing with it yesterday in our pavilion, that spot for. Now, what would that seat, 115 people over there? Uh, in the pavilion? Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, probably around that number. And so we set that room up kind of like what we would use on a Saturday night for our, for our 10 minute team meeting that we were having the issues with why this kind of came to be. Um, and uh, it worked like the coach was standing in the room with you. So, um, so it works. We know that it works. We, we, We've tested it enough now to know um, uh, that it's a it's a very feasible, very easy solution. There's nothing that's hard setting it up. I think it took us ten minutes today to try and set it up. Um, and um, you know we're we're going to leave everything that we've got in place in here uh, and see if our GM wants to kind of do a do a, uh, a draft room setup and see if this will work for what they're trying to come up with for the draft. Um, so I think I, I think it's I think it's really kind of really kind of cool. These are these these um, these tabletop units are are, are are way more powerful than than what they appear to be. <laughs> um, I'll, I'll go to the back of the room and, and you can you can tell that um, a normal speakerphone wouldn't pick it up, uh, but these these will pick them up, no problem. Um, uh, on it, and it, it doesn't sound kind of funky or anything uh, to that nature. This is as far back as we had people. This is the second to last row in the in the in the auditorium, and and they would ask questions, and it's almost like you're standing right on top of the mic. Yeah, you sound you sound maybe even clearer back there. Yeah, um, that's true. And and um, you know, and I think it, it could be elevation change may may help with some of that. That's why we put them on the tables to kind of get them up away from the seats a little bit. To uh, um, but definitely in a, in a space like this, I can see where the the, the ceiling ones would work. Yeah, or, or the walls. The, or the walls. Um, you know, I think that this would be a, an interesting, uh, an interesting um, thing. But the nice thing about these is they're not prepackaged in a, in, a, in, a, in a solution that includes camera and everything else. You know, whatever you, whatever you have, like, oh, well, with, with like D10 and some of the other. Um, companies that have these types of solutions, you have to buy that whole product in order to benefit from, oh, like yeah. we're just for the audio portion. Yeah, because right. uh, those, those, we have, so, you know, we can get all those solutions and those are 30 and $50,000 solutions, right? What you're doing right now, like, cause you just came in a, in a suitcase. So you can yeah. take this on a plane, you can take it to a hotel, set it up like you said in 10 minutes, for what? It's under three thousand dollars. Yeah, I mean it's you know it's it's uh, you know it's it's worth it. I had our IT guys in here, and I had a one of our things, and and they were like, "This is this is really good. You know, this is something that we can see maybe putting in other rooms in here in the, in the building and kind of because now we I think everybody should realize at this point that." Zoom meetings aren't going away. You know, they're, we're, they're not going to go away. They may change in what we do with them and how we utilize them, but they're not not—they're not going to go away. Um, yeah. and what I really like, Stu, is that, you know, like, it's like you're, we're, ta we're able to talk hands-free. We're able to talk to you like I'm sitting in my living room and you're sitting in your living room. Everybody can just get eyeball to eyeball and be casual, not think too hard and yeah. just talk. I mean, Matt and I, Matt, me and Fuzz, can tell you, I mean, we sat Saturday nights and was like, please, dear Lord, let the audio work. <laughs> yep. Please, dear yeah, Lord, just. Part is part. Yeah. And, and it, when it doesn't, oh. and you, you guys just don't have any time. You don't have time for that. You, you don't have time to fix it. Nobody wants to hear the story. They just want it to work. No, and there were was, there was several trips we were on where we showed up, and 45 minutes later, they were meeting. Yeah. 
No. So you, so you guys see this as a viable option for you? Yeah. Um, I most certainly see it as a, you know, as a thing. I mean, even if you only use two in one room and put one in another room as a standalone, yeah. you know, I mean, you can buy the, 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 the POE injector that you can plug into the wall and use it that way and power it to an independent laptop. And for $625, you have yourself a speaker pump. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> right. So I love that you're testing this out for us. You know, I told you that I brought this brand in. The first time we talked to them, it was you that I thought, yeah. which is why which is why you're our lucky test bunnies right now. <laughs> and we were so appreciative of it because, um, you know, if you, if it's important for you, it's probably important for somebody else too. And if we can find um, out how to build, what else do we need to do to make this box make good sense for you and save you time? Because, you know, POE switches and routers and all that stuff, we sell that all day long. So yeah. if it's like, okay, Betsy, really, this is, this is good, but, this would be better sure. and this would be an option to maybe have like you're talking about the plug-in thing yes like here's the model number of that thing that's probably a pretty good option if you're really on the fly you know anything yeah. you can think of that's going to help us help you we is great yeah um you know I, you know like i said i think that that you know there, there's definitely a there's definitely a a a, a use for it um, you know, I don't know at the collegiate level if they would have if they would have a, a use for something like this. I mean, obviously they do the same thing that we do. So um, I don't know if this would be overkill for what they're trying to do or not. I don't know how much they have to do with Zoom meetings as far as the night before the game when you know we get a, we get an outbreak. You know, at any point, I'm sure that they that that will be what we'll have to do. It will be no different did last fall so um hopefully not but, but i think we all have to prepare sure. uh, and even if you're not working in that virtual if we all get back to something more normal um and you're having meetings even with that being said you know i just think about even like at the collegiate level when they have their that that last night where they give their they have their awards dinner kind of thing and some people are, someone's running around with a microphone from person yeah, to person sure. and can hear them talk and, and yeah. someone's yelling from the back. Just to have for, you know, invest the $2,500 or whatever and have these three things set up around that ballroom and everybody just talk to each other. Well, and the funny thing about that is, is that we, um, we tested it yesterday with the mic in our, um, in our pavilion to see if talking on the microphone um, was was detrimental to it because there were times last fall that if we were on the mic, sometimes the audio kind of became unclear. Um, and this was a lot better. I won't say it was perfect, but it was a lot better um, than um, than that. And you were getting the microphone, you were getting it from the speakers in the ceiling is where the, the, the thing was picking it up from. Um, yeah. You know, so, yeah, you know, I, I, these speakers are downward facing to try yeah. and get rid of some of that. And I think there are a lot of like noise cancellation properties so that they've done the best job that we've seen. And, and they're really proud of the job that they've done to have clarity, to have vocal clarity. Yeah. Uh, you can tell that they've done a lot of work and you can tell that there's, um, you can tell there's a lot going on inside that box as it's gone because I mean the the the, uh, the air conditioning is going in, in, or not the air conditioning. The the, the, the air the, we, the air handlers are, are going in here. You don't hear that. You don't hear the hum from the lights. You don't hear or the projector. Uh, oh yeah, you don't hear any of that from where we're sitting. Yeah, you don't you don't hear any of that. And those other mics, you heard all. Of it. You know, oh, it, that's it's just awesome. Um, you know, so uh, that is awesome. Stu, can you kind of point out where all the components are, where they're living right now? Sure. So we've got, um, on each one of the tables, there are, um, that's where the, uh, the tabletop, yeah. okay. I think we, we renamed them as STEM 1, 2, and 3, okay. <laughs> just, as, just so we knew what they were. Um, 
but we have them on the tables um, uh, uh, up in the front uh, uh, on uh, in spread throughout the room. Um, we certainly could move them to other parts of the room if we wanted to. Um, we've got um, the only thing that's connected to them is a Cat Five K or Cat Six cable. Um, that's the only thing that that we have running to them, and we've kind of run that back to our control uh, back in our uh, in the corner. Um, and it's they're all fifty foot cables, so that one on the very far end where the TVs are is at its length, uh, 50 feet. Okay. On the, the thing here, I'm gonna grab this camera here and just show you where we have all the other components just to see. So here on the table, we have the, the, uh, the uh, hub. Um, basically we have the hub running back to a, um, so we don't have the computers living in this room. Uh, we so we've got them. Uh, we've got them in a, in a separate closet. But we have a, a, a five port powered uh, switch USB switch in here that we have that plugged into. Um, and uh, so you know uh, that's the only thing that's running there. Obviously, there's a Cat Six cable that's running in. And then here on the on on the desk, we've got switch with the first eight ports of this are poe um uh, providing the power out to each one of the the units it's also providing the ip address to each one of uh the the the, the tabletop units out there and then we're using the cradle point um uh, router uh to provide those uh ip addresses obviously this is a little bit overkill for for, for for this, um, but we've got that plugged in, and that's what's actually providing the IP addresses back to the uh, to the switch. Um, so we're going to try our challenge. Our challenge now. It's not a very big challenge. I think with your help, we can find the part number and probably have one on its way this afternoon. But it sounds like what we're look the magic the magic box is going to be. Um, the PoE switch with the built-in router that provides the IP addresses. They, they may not know exactly how to get those IP addresses out to things. So if you have something that's kind of more plug and play. Yeah, that's our goal here. Our goal here is for you guys not to have to think too hard and for you to have it all in one box and not to sure. take extra time to have to set stuff up. It's We want this to be easy for you. Well, the, the nice thing about this is that it's not reliant on the actual Zoom that we're using. I'm going to switch the audio through our crush drum just so you kind of get an idea of maybe what that sounds like. Um, so our speakers in this room are located in the front of the room. So it's actually pushing towards uh, the tabletop units. Um, we didn't find that there was any issues earlier, but you never know. So, so if I'm talking right now, you should hear me coming back through then. Correct. And you got me. One, two, three. Nice. And so that's coming from the front of the room. Um, those speakers are right next to the, 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 the uh, uh, street. That's our big big screen um, and those those are those are up there a um, little bit different than being forced down from the ceiling down um, we want to get into our draft room to check that out because that's how our draft room is set up our speakers are in the ceiling um, and so they um, that's where we were getting the most feedback um, so really we, right now yeah we we want to we want to test those out um and and see um we've had tv playing through the uh the audio uh in the front of the room and the tabletop's gone didn't have any issues with that either so they're they're um whenever they say that they that they they are noise canceling they truly are they are really truly trying to pick up the voice of the people talking and 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 not 
trying and is kind of shuffling out all of the extraneous um, noises in the room. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that sounds really good. You're getting your steps in, Stu. It's all right. I need to. <laughs> On the, uh, the, uh, this is the very last row of, uh, of, the, uh, of the room. Um, and if I sit, you know, I, I think that the, the audio, now obviously we don't have a full allotment of bodies in here. I, I think that would create a little bit of a muffling effect. But um, I think you, you can you guys hear me fine? By a yeah. lot. Yeah, you sound great. I've, I've heard no muffling since you switched this over in the front or back from my area. Nice. Yeah, I mean, it's a very, very, very viable solution to these. Again, it's it's not tens of thousands of dollars, you know. Right. It's, right. It's, and you, can, you guys can go into the STEM Audio website, into that design area, and design your rooms. Mm -hmm. And it's going to come up, you know, when, when that happens, it comes up and says, okay, this room's $11,900. You're, you're, that's not what your price is going to be from us, right? I mean, it's just that gives us the parts and pieces that we know that you're looking at, and then we get you a quote. And your quote is going to be much more attractive than that. Yep. You know, the one thing, the one thing that we would, that we'll do in here is we, as we start to go down this route to, to switch this over to a true video conferencing type room. We're going to put better cameras in. Obviously, this is a Logitech camera that we're using. That's kind of why it's kind of a funky angle over there. But I mean, this, I mean, you could have a full fledged video suite in your uh, video conferencing suite in here for not a whole lot of money. Well, I can honestly say that this is one of the, uh, this particular thing, I'm, I'm, I'm happy that the idea that we had the idea and um, the guys at STEM kind of assisted us and this is a very viable solution to the problems that we were having last fall. Oh, and that's so great. I think that every, I think a lot of the NFL guys especially can probably relate to having those same issues that we had. Um, uh, but this is ease of use. You don't have to think about it. This is a well-designed can and string. <laughs> Hopefully, um, as we go through and we do some more testing and, and kind of maybe put it into actual use, because um, uh, we'll have some Zoom meetings and stuff coming up with, uh, you know, with our scouts and things like that. Um, you know, we'd like to try to maybe put it through some actual meetings yeah. that you're going to do. Um, yeah. But as far as stuff that for what we initially had thought about for this, um, it's definitely, I mean, I, I would have no problems uh, getting this and, and our, you know, I've talked to everybody and we're all on the same page that this is something that I think that we should have. So, oh, that's so great. like I said, the, the, the crazy thing about this draft this year is going to be, at least we're back in our buildings, but we're still not all going to be in the same spot. So we're going to have people all over the place that need to talk to one another. Sure. And so that's what we're trying to come up with, with using this, using the, 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 the huddle cam, using everything at our disposal to try to make it so that we don't have to use speaker phones. For sure. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. Yeah. Thank you so much, guys. Yes. No problem. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.